day guys Sunday morning uh, it's in, what, 10 18 Colorado been up messing around cooking breakfast uh, piddling outside trying to make a list of some maintenance stuff that I need to stay on top of I noticed my antenna that rolls up the boot for the cable is pulled loose. Now we've been through some torrential rain, but uh, hadn't seen any signs of water coming in. So I need uh, when the wife comes back up here, I'm gonna have a bring. I don't know if I want to bring a six foot ladder. Just buy one. They're not that expensive. I'll get some overtime here next week, next couple weeks. So that's how I base buying, you know, extra things. I want to buy an electric weed eater. One I can run it off. Uh, I have a power inverter. It's a 1500 watt that I keep in my truck. I, Connect to the batteries, not one of the plug in. And uh, I can run it off of that. Or connect it to the battery on the trailer, which is always getting a triple charge from being plugged into the electricity. Run it off of that. It's a brand new marine battery. So, anyway, I won't buy electric weed either. Keep around here. You know, they, they mow a little bit, but if you got your car out there, they're, they're not going to get up close to your trailer. I've got some weeds growing up around my wheels and tires. Uh, something else I need to get. Need some scissor jacks. Things like that. I, I go around looking things, but that grass is growing up, and I had a big spider whip up in the wheel. And uh, I sprayed it down, get rid of that. I don't want, but I have to crawl up on the trailer every now and then just to check things. You know, if you're uh, insulated underpinning, keep an eye on that because if it gets wet and damp, insulation it'll start sagging down. And uh, if that ever happened to be the case, you need to find the lowest point and kind of poke a hole in there let that get out but then you need to find out what the world going on. I found a leak upon the sink the hot water connection on the faucet to use it to pick uh, crimp rings and I, it's, it just wasn't wet it was just like a couple little spots where it drips every now and then uh, I put some paper towels upon there and uh, until I can actually have time. Uh, don't have a lot of time during the week to do anything. Sunday's generally one I want to have off. And, uh, and I work my butt off is because getting caught up and start putting some away. And then uh, once I change fields, I'm going to get into uh, inspections. I can have more free time. You know, I can pick what I want to work, what I don't want to work. But if you do anything, like if you want to transition to, you know, RV living, full time living, and I just watched a documentary. I don't know, I might try to put it in the, I don't know much about YouTube, to be honest with you, that's why I still have my phone, I don't know how to cut, and I take videos from time to time, and uh, I don't know how to crop that in there, or paste, or one of the day, maybe I'll take a YouTube school class, be cool with it. Anyway, you got to prepare. Don't jump in the middle of nothing. Uh, 
you know, we went into debt on this trailer. We still got a vehicle we got to pay off. And uh, when we keep working, keep working, and become more self-sufficient and have some money put back, and then I can work from time to time, and uh, mainly we will keep some money that we save for medical or for you know things that pop up, emergencies, maintenance, you know things like that. Uh, they'll have to maintain insurance on stuff. That's just a smart thing to do. Yeah, I can fix anything in this summer gun. I can remodel it play from in the end. I can replumb it. I can even do the electrical. And uh cosmetic. I can do all that stuff. But say this thing sustained a ton of wind damage or hail damage or something like that. It's just best to have insurance. I'll have to show y'all something here in a minute. Then we'll, uh, anyway, let's, get, let's stay on track. It's best to have a policy or something to cover things like that. So you're not out of pocket. Yeah, you're out of pocket at $500,000 deductible, whatever. But if you have $5,000 worth of damage, it's not cheap to have this stuff fixed. It's not cheap to have these panels changed out, a new roof, you know, uh, I think uh, once we get through the first stage, remember I always said, don't jump in the middle of something, get you something that's going to work for a while, and do your upgrades gradually, don't just go buy, like I said before, you got to buy these new trucks, and they go buy three, four, five thousand dollars worth of wheels, and tires, and jacked up, and do all this stuff and in this industry you can work three or four five six weeks a month two months three months and then boom you're laid off which is it then you gotta go around and chase and the downtime in between so you're paying all this money you probably got it on credit your truck, your tires, your wheels, all the lift kits, and all the bells and whistles, and all this, and you're making payments on it. Did you go two or three weeks a month? Man, I went a year without a good job. And yeah, I worked. I did plumbing, I did painting, I did, you know, contracting framing work. I did everything in the world just to make it me because that's what we should do to maintain what we have. But don't don't get caught up into that. Just gradually what you pay cash for and still live comfortably. Buy it that way. Don't go don't out there. I mean, I'm 53 years old. I've done some stupid stuff. But I only did it for a short term because my dad said if you can't pay cash for it, you don't need it. And that's true to a point. Not a lot of us have forty, fifty thousand dollars to pay on a vehicle. And my line of work and with the wife, kids, transporting school, this and that and the other, you know, field trips and come to see me. Uh, you got to have a good vehicle. And uh, it just, that's just the way it is. So there's certain things that we have to go in depth for. And I just watched a 50, I won't say about 51 minute video on YouTube. And I'm going to try to put the link in there somewhere. Uh, goodness, I hope I can figure it out. <clears throat> but uh, be smart with your money save your money for 
put some back. He got. I'm, we're working on trying to get at least six months. And I think if we get six months put back, I think we'll be just fine. Uh, that's just because you know we're gonna have some bad winter months, and uh, we're probably gonna be, you know days and days and days depending on the weather and the snow and the ice and all that we're probably not going to be working a lot we only get paid the days that we work uh, what sucks is most companies don't pay for your vehicle don't pay for deal on your days off and my argument is I'm set up in a position, I set my living up, whether it be a hotel, an RV park, an apartment, a house rent. <coughs> I'm doing it for the company. I'm making myself available for the company. And yet I may not work a set of hours or any hours on particular days. I'm still having to live here. I can't call this RV park owner and say, hey, I'm going to be off. Uh, they're not letting us. They don't have any work Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So uh, you can't charge me for those days. I go to Walmart or the grocery store and get some groceries. I might get paid today for a deal, so this is free. I can't charge me today, because I might get a deal. So, you have to think about that stuff. Next company I go with, if I am away from home, which I normally am, and I'm set up somewhere, I'm going to have seven days a week per deal at least. On set days off, I understand that, you know, I'm not going to charge you for my truck. But I have to live. I have to pay for a place to stay. I have to make payments on this. I have to eat. I have to do everything. And I'm here for the company. I'm not here for pleasure. And yes, I do find pleasure. I got my windows open over here. Open over here. But I'm, I'm here for the company. I'm having to pay to live here for the company. I got places at home I can park this up, dry it up, park it for nothing. So, anyway, but what's a good documentary? Uh, goodness, I watch so so much stuff uh, from solar. I want to go solar. I was looking at the roof. I was in the back of my truck on the job box in the back of my truck. Got a good view of the uh, roof. The roof looks real good. I'm going to have to eventually get a uh, new awning canvas, but that'll be a while. And do I need a new awning? Well, like right now, if I didn't have that awning out, that sun bakes on this side of the trailer. And it gets freaking hot in here. It, and then once it gets hot in here, you, you won't get it cooled off till 7, 8 o'clock at night. So, yes, that is a necessity. It blocked the sun on about three quarters of this trailer and keeps it cool. You can maintain the coolness in here to where it's comfortable. I don't have the air on as cold as my, my wife likes it, but she's got to where she has a uh, acclimated, adjusted to the fact that it's not going to be as cold as in a house. Even the house we have in Texas 
that thing, that AC running all day long. And yeah, it's, it's pretty comfortable. Certain parts of the house are cooler than others, but still, it's just the same thing. It doesn't matter if you're in an RV or you're in a house. So, yeah, the electric bill, that, you know, in a big house, I think 20, we measured it out. They got into here for like 26, 2700 square feet. Big house. And there are days when you get 108 out of there, it'd be 105, 108 degrees. I would get before the end of that, you know, beginning of the afternoon, I would uh, take a water hose and I would water that house. And uh, years ago, I was doing that in the house up in North Texas. You know, well, what you doing? I said, well, I need more room. I figured if I water it, it'll grow. <laughs> that was cool. That was your sign. But, anyway, I'm going to try to post that uh, video in there. Uh, that YouTube video. It's pretty cool. A lot of people don't agree with, uh, like I've seen in other videos, people think that people who live like this are dodging responsibilities. They don't want to. But you know you pay half to three quarters of your income on this nice big house. What do you do? You go to work. You work all day. You do your little social thing. You come to the house. You lock it up. You set your alarm system, just like the guy said in that documentary. And you eat, and you watch some TV, you clean up, shower, go to bed, and get up the next day, do the same thing again. You're working to pay for that. And how much enjoyment do you get out of it? You got the bling, you got all this, you got bragging rights, I got this big house. Uh, you know. <coughs> This right here is nice. There's plenty of room in this place. You got the super slide, you got the dining area, you got the couch, you made some bed, you got the entertainment center, we got two rocking chairs right there, kitchen. Uh, wife see that counter right there she won't shoot me. Got everything that you need. Stove, oven, refrigerator. Excuse me. It's a time to dust. I just did that last night. Uh, you know, we got everything in there. I uh, get a good solar system on here. We got plenty of room to store some good batteries. They got a few high uh, reaction there. But, uh, got a big, I think it's, I don't know what the tank is, the water tank is. 30, 40 gallons. What do you use? I mean, you fill that up with whatever water you have access to. And, uh, man, excuse me. Anyway, you fill a, a fresh water tank, uh, 30, 40 gallon, whatever it is. You're going to use that for your sink, you can wash your dishes, toilet, shower, bathrooms. Uh, we get gallon water and bottled water, it's not that much. Then, you know, I just got uh, a big 32 bottle, and I usually get like a 40 something bottle thing from Sam's and Costco. Get all that. And that's what we drink, that's what we make our coffee with. I use Gatorade powders, I mix my own Gatorade. 
every day from work and during the day. And, you know, uh, I've we use bottled water or gallon water to uh, consume uh, everything else, you know. Shower, you know, it won't take that long to shower, but I, I'm actually impressed. Uh, I've taken pretty good, I mean, I take real good showers, actually. Uh, uh, why? She doesn't have a problem with the shower and hot water. Uh, her uh, daughter, stepdaughter, she uh, did just fine. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Boy, something hit me all of a sudden. But uh, I have everything, everything we need. And, uh, you know, eventually, Work keeps going, and uh, we'll get this one paid off pretty quick, good amount of time. We'll get this paid off, and uh, don't know what we we want a bedroom slide out. The only thing is, I have to watch the weight because I'm not going to get a bigger truck. I got the 1500 gram, the 8 speed, it's uh, got the towing package on it, brakes, everything. And I can supposedly haul, uh, it's 8 something thousand pounds. And uh, it didn't have any trouble pulling this. Just the wind. The wind kicked our butt. That's the only thing we had a problem with. Once the wind kind of died off and we got a straight run, I was 70 miles an hour. So it pulled just fine. Wasn't no problem. Got the weight figured out and everything. It pulled just fine. But we want to get a bigger bedroom. We may do one with the bump. When we do the bumps, it takes away from the living area. But that's something we can make about. And they're not that much longer, really. So we're looking at that. Uh, other than that, we... I mean, uh, RV heaven. Uh, you know, there's a lot of give and takes on staying in that casita. Like I said many times, if it was just me, hey, it didn't work just fine. Uh, I did, you know, I would have liked to have had something a little bit longer, maybe a little bit of, you know, yeah, we got the living, dining, kitchen, and all framed up in one spot. <coughs> My only issue, two issues I had was the bed and the bathroom. Uh, I'd like to be able to move around, change clothes, dry off. You know, I'd have to get out in the hallway and make a seat because the shower is right there in that little spot. And there, you know. But, I do like a little bit of convenience and comfort. People are taking box bands and, you know, mini bands and stuff. And living out of those, got them set up. That's nice. I think I deserve a little bit of convenience. A little bit more money. But I think we'll trade this in. You know, later on down the road, I'm going to get paid off first. We got a lot of other stuff we got to get caught up on. But I think this here is just. Like an efficiency apartment, I will. And uh, get out of work, get tired of an area, pack it up, hook up, go. That's it. Go somewhere else.
you need majestic alignments. Uh, granted, it's been like days of 100 degrees here in Colorado. Well, what the heck's up with that? I don't know. It's like global warming. Uh, that's crazy. It was 100 degrees the other day. Got there and breathed in. There you go. And uh, granted, I've got the AC figured out. So it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It wasn't hot in here. It was just enough. I mean, if you were to vacuum and do a bunch of cleaning in here, yeah, you'd start sweating and stuff. But I generally do that. Uh, <coughs> oh, days off. I've got some stuff I got to do today. I got to dump my tank, flush my tank, and uh, do some wiping down. But during the week, I just come in and pick a little something to eat and uh, relax. Get ready for the next day. Uh, my, I'll try to get that video in there. Okay, my little birdies. Up there in the tree, where they are. You can't see them. I know you can't, but they, uh, man, I tell you what, the RVI couple, you know, they monitored the uh, birds from hatching all the way to flying, flying the coop. These here say, well, I've been watching these guys. There's two I know for sure. Uh, I thought there were three. Three or four, I don't know. But uh they got brothers, they they've been out there on the branches hopping around. Birds come back, feed them, you know, and stuff. And uh something I've been noticing, any other bird that comes around that area, man, they'll go after them, they'll run them off. There's one bird, species of bird that they will not even mess with. And that's sparrow. Sparrows fly around there, and they never look twice. Isn't that strange? Yeah, I, that was kind of. I've been watching that. I've been watching them. I may be. I'm not a bird nut, anything like that. But I love nature. I love things like that. And my little bunny came out and seen me. Uh, I get up about five o'clock, so in the mornings, at least five o'clock, I go out and make my coffee and look around and see what's kind of what the weather is looking like. And uh, my old buddy was out there looking around. One day I turned around and he was right behind me. I didn't even know he was there. And he took off right up on the steps. <coughs> Cleaned his face and stuff. And I never had my phone with him. That's what I don't carry my phone on me all the time. Uh, I don't, I'm not on the phone other than YouTube or Hallmark Channel and a cast of TV and stuff. We don't have any uh, TV signals out here. I tried. But, you know, we got technology. We got conveniences that we can use in your vehicle, in the woods, if you got a signal. We got all that. We can watch TV. I watched CBS Live this morning. I haven't watched news. I kid you not, I have not watched news in probably six or seven months. Any news channel. I don't even listen to it on the radio. Once in a blue moon, I have to say I listen to it. But I got my weather apps on my phone. I got weather.com, I got weatherbug. That's about it. It tells me from air pollen, lightning, wind, rain, any kind of weather, I get an alert if it's out of the norm. Which kind of aggravated me yesterday. <clears throat> uh, I did my video. I was sitting there on the uh, couch here watching a movie. Don't put yourself to sleep, man. I hope I ain't putting y'all to sleep. You learn your primitive skills. Uh, I was laying there and right at the end of the movie, and they started with the credits. And 
just fine. Get some money above me or and uh I went outside and <laughs> well, I was watching it. It's funny. You got the tree here with the bird's nest and going east wind I mean the trees are just going round and round. And from this there's a little bit of wind back over here in the front part of the trailer. That's where I got the wiggle. Right in here where the nest trees are for the nest and everything. I'm hardly moving. So, anyway. But, uh, I don't know. I, I reiterate and I beat it to death and stuff. Think about what you're doing. Take a long, hard process of thinking about <coughs> what you do every day. What do you want to do? Do you want the liberty and independence? Not working for the men all the time. All the woman. I gender specific. But how how long are you gonna work to keep up with society? Or are you gonna create your own society? Keeping up with the job. Got that bling and that bragging right. I don't know. I've had several homes in my life. Worked my butt off. Check outside, try to shake it. Uh, <clears throat> worked hard just to make it look good. I didn't want people to think less of me because my grass is really tall. I need to trim the hedges. I need to wash the sidewalk. I need to put some flowers out and do some cosmetics. If I invite people in, you know. Think long and hard about that. And how much time and effort and energy does it take to maintain and keep up with what society thinks you should do? Think about it. I'm thinking myself is you gotta take care of yourself. You can't take care of what they want us to do, what everybody thinks we should do. Somebody was saying, well, I've got to have $380,000. One major illness, just say one month out of work, you lose it all. Then it takes seven to 10 years before you can even think about it getting credit for anything else. I've been there. So what do you do? I gotta go check out my arm in here. Uh, wind's kicking around there, shaking my trailer, so. Guys, uh, do what you love, do what you enjoy. Get out there and do, you know it's cheap, er, to just get out and go somewhere secluded go out to a lake part of the lake where there ain't a bunch of people and uh, take the family out there that's really cheap you can go camping in a lot of national parks and stuff for free or just a few bucks last time we went to the movies I bet we spent a hundred dollars Learn some different things, become self-sufficient, and 
eliminate fear with knowledge. Get out there and do something with your family. Hope you have a great day. I gotta say my honor. We'll see y'all.